This is CNN Breaking News. Tonight, the first convicts to ever break out of this maximum security prison are on the run, two days and counting. Ollie, I just found us a car. We can make it to Mexico now. We should start packing up the food. Nothing left. There's like 20,000 calories worth. What the heck? What is going on guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. Today is going to be a full day of eating. Going to take you Today is gonna to be the 20,000 calorie challenge. So one of my first ever YouTube videos, I did the 10,000 calorie challenge, and I said if that video got 500 likes, I would do the 20K, and little did I know, I would get 20K likes, so calorie per like, nice. So be careful what you wish for, guys. So it has taken me a lot longer than expected to get to this video, but we are here now. I'm a man of my words, so we're gonna go and do the best that we can, fill our bodies with some calories, have fun, and you know, just have a good time. Here is my current form at 175.4 pounds before physique demolition begins. I think that's the best way to put it. Uh, I am hungry. Barely ate yesterday, barely ate the whole entire week actually. So the body is primed and ready for some calories. So let's go pick up meal number one. Okay, so meal number one, cloudy with zero chance of survival. So my strategy for this challenge is to finish it in four absolute monumental sittings, around 5,000 calories each. So here I have 12 donuts from Tim Hortons. You know, I, I wanted to make this challenge a little bit interesting, so I decided to cut back on my typical order and only get 12. So this comes out to 3,090 calories. We have two apple fritters, we have two honey crullers, we have two Boston creams, a toasted coconut, vanilla dip, maple dip, a strawberry filled, and then a honey dip and a Canadian maple. And then we move on to the McDonald's. So what do you get when a breakfast sandwich and a pancake mate? You get a McGriddle. A wicked little creation that packs a big caloric punch. 550 calories a pop, that is just obnoxious. We got two of those, just our typical double dosage of a morning meat. We got two breakfast burritos with a bunch of salsa and then two half browns. I love half browns. They're just a beautiful canvas, just like your significant other. Put any sauce in them and they'll taste great. So current time right now is 9.45. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm just gonna start supersetting in sweet and savory and see how this all goes. So this will be a big indication on how this day is gonna go. So. Let's get after it. What deserves the honor to go first? Cause like this, whatever is first is what I'm gonna enjoy the most. I think we, I think we gotta go Boston cream on this channel, right? It makes sense. All right guys, cheers. Obviously we got some water cause liquid calories don't count. Cause if liquid calories counted, I could just eat infinite calories. I could get a hundred thousand calories, no problem. So just water throughout the day. This thing is greasy. Hands are dripping. Mm. Tastes like 550 calories, that's for sure. All right, <clears throat> burrito time. Now I generally prefer a nice and girthy burrito. These are definitely lacking in that department. Don't worry guys, I know the feeling. So got some extra salsa on the side because you always gotta lube up your burrito. Makes it extra tasty. Mm. We're just going back and forth, you know? It's just like training chest and back, like antagonist muscles. Sweet, savory, sweet, savory. This is the hardest part, which one should I have? So you know what? I actually did end up getting a cake donut. I got the, the toasted coconut donut. It is 300 calories. You know, today is not all about enjoyment. It is a lot of enjoyment, but a lot of it is to do with just getting calories down. So this one was 300 calories. One of the higher ones at Tim Hortons, so just have to do it. All right, let's flirt with one of these hash browns here. I'm gonna add one of them into the McGriddle and see how that tastes. I can't imagine it would be bad. You gotta make it seem like it's less volume of food. Just gonna slather on in. 
There you go. You know I say train your heart, guys. I don't mean clog your arteries. The things I do for YouTube. Oh, <clears throat> just traveling slow. <clears throat> Back to the donuts. Let's go with the strawberry filled. I always need my white powder to start off the day. We're not even 10 minutes in. I have six donuts left, one burrito, and one hash brown. Feeling good. Let's go with one of the honey crullers here. These things just melt in your mouth and they're unreal. And they're like 280 calories per. These were freshly made too, I had to wait for these things. <sighs> All right, well that was meal number one, 5,100 calories down, feeling fairly well nourished as you can probably imagine. Current time is now 10.02, gonna go and start crafting my next epic feast and I'll check in with you guys shortly. It has taken everything out of me not to pass out after meal number one, but I have not stopped moving and now we are at the gym because when you do food challenges, you wanna at least work out before your first meal or right after. You don't wanna wait, because if you wait, there's no way that you're going. So I'm gonna hop into a chest and back workout, hoping to push a lot of weight because I do have 5,100 calories in me and we'll see how it goes. All right, so just wrapped up the workout and I would be lying to you if I said that that workout went well. I just felt disgusting. I almost wanna take a nap on the bench press. Like the, the McGriddles were just sloshing around in my stomach. I was like burping up Ronald McDonald. It was just it was just a bad situation. So it just shows you that bad food. It just makes you feel like trash. I was just sluggish the whole workout. So anyway, it is 1.59. A lot of time has passed since meal number one. So we're gonna go pick up meal number two and uh, get after it. All right guys, time for meal number two. This is the biggest one of the day and very rarely am I intimidated of a meal, but this one is definitely making my hair stand. So current time is 3.05, so we gotta get cracking y'all. And this comes out to 5,740 calories. So what we got going on is this monstrosity of a pizza. It's a jumbo pizza nova pizza. And as you guys can see, it's 18 inches, making me feel a little self-conscious. This thing is huge, so it has Chicken, pepperoni, bruschetta mix, which actually has a ton of calories. Did they put bacon on there? Oh God, thank God, no, okay. And roasted garlic coming out to uh, 4,440 calories. You know, they call it a jumbo, but with the right mindset, any pizza is a personal pizza. And then on the side, we have a barbecue dipping sauce, which is 100 calories. So the pizza comes out to 4,540 calories. And then going along the pizza, we went to Firehouse Subs and got a New York steamer. I'm only very familiar with the Cleveland steamer and it even comes in its own little sub casket, which is pretty cool. And this thing is 1,190 calories. It is huge, tons of meat. It's like pastrami, uh, brisket, corned beef with like lots of cheese and stuff like that. So, I mean, we're gonna see how we do here. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie right now. But if we can get through this, we're smooth sailing. We're over the halfway point and it's pretty much, um, the final stretch? Not really, is it? No, not at all. So, okay guys, wish me luck. I found it very surprising how many calories the bruschetta mix added to each slice. It added like 80 calories a slice because it's all like seeped in oil. So if you're ordering a pizza, don't think bruschetta mix is healthy because it's just tomatoes. There's a lot of oil added to it. So just be aware. And speaking of what you'd put on pizza, I would typically put pineapple on, but it just didn't, it didn't fit the macros today. So if you could pick three toppings on a pizza, what would it be? Comment below. Oh, there's a lot of bread, a lot of cheese happening right now. All right, let's tag team in this sub right now. This bread looks incredible right now. And like the meat is just flaring out the sides, just showing off a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh man. Yeah. 
whenever I have a sub, I go to Subway. So I just see a sub as a sub, you know, but then I go to Firehouse and it's not like going out to Pornhub and realizing it's free premium day because the quality of this is just insane. Like the meat is incredible. What's that? I see a food wall coming in the distance, but I gotta pick up the pace here. Oh man, <clears throat> this was an ambitious crossover right here, I'll tell you that. Don't know if this was the best idea, but live and learn for next time. <clears throat> I usually wouldn't complain about endless pizza, but this literally feels like it's endless right now. Because like I haven't made a dent in this thing. It's 12 slices, by the way. I'm not taking breaks. No way. We're not, we're taking it all down right now. Come on. Come on. I tell you, I've never had roasted garlic on pizza before. It is fire, man. You know what, we're gonna hide a slice in here. I think, yeah, we're gonna go like that. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's good. One bite of the sandwich left, and then three slices of pizza. I'm not quitting. There's no way I'm walking away right now without finishing this. Because if I walk away, I ain't coming back. <clears throat> There's literally this much left. And it's probably gonna take me 15 minutes. I'm chipmunking the hell out of these pieces. They're just like sitting in my cheek. <sighs> oh, okay. Last bite of this meal. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Meal number two is finished. That puts our total calories at 10,840, current time is now 328. I tell you what, that first 10K was to get full. The next 10K is to teach me a lesson, man. This is gonna be difficult as hell. I'm gonna go and take an unnecessarily long shower because I feel disgusting. I just feel like I'm seeping out like corned beef and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go shower then go for another walk because also with the 20K calories, we are doing 20K steps. You gotta be moving all the time. If you're eating a lot, expend a lot. So catch with you guys very soon. Oh, Jesus. All right, everybody, we are back. Time for meal number three. So we've been riding the savory train, but now it's time to pull the emergency exit thing and get off at Diabetes Valley because this thing we are making right now has a lot of sugar in it. So this is the smallest meal of the day coming out to 3,980 calories. And we're going in with a full tube of cookie dough. There's just something unsettling about that Pillsbury Doughboy. I feel like in his past life he was a cannibal or something. So the full entire tube is 1,940 calories. And then on the side we're gonna have a full pint of haagen -Dazs. So I decided to be a purist and go vanilla. On top of that, I'm gonna put some chocolate sauce. Now this is the game changer. So per two tablespoons, it's 210 calories. We're going four tablespoons for 420 calories, 420 blaze up. On top, I'm gonna put my favorite chocolate bar, which is a very unpopular opinion. Three Musketeers, 240. And then I had these bananas for another video, but decided to use them for this one. So we're gonna do 337 grams of banana, which is 300 calories, coming out to the total of 3,980. Okay, so time for meal number three. Current time is now 6.01. I'm definitely not as enthused as I typically would be facing 16 servings of cookie dough, but since I took down that meal number two, I feel invincible at this point. And underneath this pile of bananas, we do have a full pint of haagen a full bar, three musketeers bar, and then literally it felt like the chocolate sauce was never ending, but that is gonna be pretty insane. This looks amazing. Not as big as I thought it was gonna be for just under 2,000 calories. So this is gonna be pretty easy and then we just got one meal left. Oh my God. 
The banana is what I needed. It brings that freshness out that I've been lacking all day. Hagen Dazs is just unreal. So creamy. I've been so used to eating like Kool Way and Halo Top, and it just makes you realize how much better this stuff is for the calories. And that chocolate sauce is good. The one drawback to chocolate sauce is that I almost have to change my bed sheets every night. Oh man. Here we go. Last bite. Oh, I need water so bad right now. So you can probably imagine how disgusting I feel since I just ate a full tube of cookie dough. So I'm probably just gonna go for another walk. I've been walking for like an hour between every single meal. And then I'm gonna go to a place where it's known for big portions, big calories, can you guys guess where that is? You too. All right guys, the time has come, the fourth and final sitting. I cannot believe that we've made it here, but the current time is 8. 31 and this meal is 5,190 calories and that will put us at a total of 20,000 calories on the dot So we went to the Cheesecake Factory and they are known for their massive menu It's pretty much a novel but also their gargantuan entrees So the fact that I went with two is pretty daunting So the first one I got is this spaghetti and meatballs and this thing is a unit. It's 1,920 calories and I can definitely see why these balls are huge. Look at this thing it looks really good. It's complete like cauldron of spaghetti. Then we also got some spicy cashew chicken because whether it's raw, milked, roasted, or or spice, I always love a good nut. So got that 2,040 calories. Incredible, and it's pretty much steamed rice. So I mean, I'm usually pretty good at estimating macros, but if I went and I didn't know the calories, I'd be pretty far off because it's it's steamed rice. It's it's crazy. 2,040 calories. What the heck? And then obviously. You go to the Cheesecake Factory, you gotta get cheesecake, because if you go to the Cheesecake Factory and don't get cheesecake, it's a lot like going to Vegas and then not making a doctor's point when you get back, you know? So this comes out to, what is the calories of this thing? This is the white chocolate raspberry cheesecake, 1,230 calories again, 5,190 calories here in total. Feeling good, there's a lot of variety here, which is definitely a good sign. I think I'm gonna go entree, superset in the cheesecake, and then finish off with an entree. Let's do it. Let's go with the spaghetti meatballs first. Wow, this is a lot. Let's just go straight meatball first. Mmm. There ain't just beef in that ball. There's definitely something else in there. Maybe a little bit of veal. Oh, there's definitely sausage. Definitely sausage. 1,920 calories. How are you allowed to serve stuff like this? I spent like 30 bucks on this, at least make my pasta al dente, come on. And you know, the Cheesecake Factory <clears throat> is actually pretty far from my house. And it was in the car and I was smelling it. And I, I feel kind of like concerned to say this, but I was feeling kind of peckish in the car. I kind of wanted to nibble at this chicken, but I restrained myself, don't worry. So we have the spaghetti meatballs down. Ooh. Okay, now let's go on to the cheesecake, I'm gonna go half cheesecake and then get into this. You know, I usually like fruity cheesecakes because I feel like cheesecake itself is already so, so rich that adding like a chocolate peanut butter component to it is just extreme. So the raspberry white chocolate truffle cheesecake, it is incredible. I feel like a disgusting human being right now. <sighs> All right, so about halfway done the cheesecake, time to get into this Tupperware. Pretty much looks like a Brian Shaw's pre-workout meal of rice and chicken. Whew. Wow, this is a lot of rice. If I can get this down in one go, I'll be I'll be impressed myself. I hit a food wall at 100 miles per hour right now. I have not hit a food wall like this in my life, for sure. So I'm just gonna sit and just chill for about five minutes. And while I do that, let's just talk a little bit about 
You must be wondering, Will, why are you doing this, man? You're going to ruin your physique, and I'm not, because it's not about what you do in a single day. It's what you do over the course of a week, over the course of a month. If you have one bad day, it's not going to do much. If I'm good for multiple weeks, multiple months, and then I just have that this one big spike, nothing's going to happen. So I, I expect I'm going to gain like 15 to 20 pounds today, but within the next couple of days, I'll just come right off and I'll be back in my routine, back to normal. It is nothing to worry about. So if you slip up on your diet, not this much, but even a little bit, don't stress it, just go on with life and it'll be okay. Oh my God. Yeah, if I can go 20,000 calories, you'll be good. I don't know how this is gonna go down. Oh. Can I call in a friend? There's something extraterrestrial about the sauce, man. It's not just sauce. There's something in it that's making it hard to eat. Maybe that's why it's 2,040 calories. This is like decadent shit right now. All right, cheesecake down, meatballs down. We only have this left. I can't finish this right now. I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break. I got that much left of the spicy cashew chicken. Probably gonna take around 15 to 20 minutes and then come back and polish this off. It's, a, it's probably around a thousand calories. So we're gonna do it. Current time is now 8.47, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, everybody, we are back. The time is now 9.12. So not that much time has passed, but I honestly just, I couldn't get it out of my mind. I was sitting and watching TV, and it was just in my mind, and it would not leave. Still very full, but I think I have a little bit of a second wind to get this down, and then that's it. It's not that much volume of food here, as you guys can see, but... I'm just done, I'm done with eating. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, I did it. 20,000 calories, 9.16. Okay, I feel horrible. So I'm gonna go upstairs, do a physique update and weigh in, and then I'm gonna shower, and then we'll talk about the day. A hundred and ninety-one point eight pounds. I gained sixteen point four pounds in one day. My face feels puffy. I actually feel 16 pounds heavier. Like everything right now is harder. And there's like infinite ways I'd redo that challenge. I feel like I just made stupid decision time after time, but we did it. We conquered the 20K. I am not going beyond that. That is the cap. There is no way. 20 is just where it all ends. So obviously I ate a lot more food than I needed, 20,000 calories. No one should be eating in one day. So I decided to pay it forward and donate to a local food bank called The Daily Bread here in Toronto just to give food to people who actually need it. So that is that, and that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.